Hey, welcome back. So the day story. Okay, so last time we told you about Annie. This time we're going to tell you about City Hall. Now, to most people, a City Hall is going to be one of those places that's going to be almost impossible for an investigator to get into unless they know people. We happen to know people at our City Hall. We've been at City Hall five different times. And after we quit taking Annie, we got a lot of good hits. Uh, so the downstairs area that's currently the council chambers, that used to be E.A. Ross's one-stop shopping, furniture store, coffin store, mortuary. He did everything in his shop. So that's, that's now the council chambers. Above that used to be the doctor's office and uh, later the library, which was run by E.A. Ross's brother, uh, Edwin Ross. And then there was the bank that was off to the left-hand side of all that on the lower end, which was also run by the Rosses. So we get into there the first night. And we're down in council chambers. We're running the spirit box. We're running gear. We're running cameras. We're asking questions. You know, who are you? Uh, what's your name? Etc. 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 Baseline questions. Well, the spirit box... Normally, it, it scans radio frequencies in a quick manner. So you're going to get a word or two, maybe three. We, we're getting sentences of who do you think and F you. Because, well, my brother was kind of provoking. And they were provoking right back. So downstairs, we got a spirit that we're guessing was E.A. Ross. Because that was his final business was the mortuary. Upstairs in the doctor's office, though, we were getting a little girl laughing. Probably, I'd say probably about five, maybe six. Uh, this little girl is not a fan of men, so I've always sent the women of the crew upstairs, uh, which is currently being used as a meeting area. It's a big round table in there. They get up there, they to have their meetings. It's uh, a little bit more private, a little more quiet. Uh, so the little girl likes to sit up there. Um, we have never gotten a name out of her. We've gotten laughing. We've gotten a couple words here and there. And then down on the bank, which is now the front desk of City Hall, I was going over there one night I think it was on our third night to set down some equipment. And I saw a shadowy figure standing there. Well, I pulled a rookie mistake and I was didn't have any cameras, didn't have any gear with me. I just had the one sensor I was putting down. So I run back to the other room, to the uh, council chambers where our uh, base station was set up. And I tell him, hey, I saw something over here. So I get all the gear I need. The guys come with me. We go over there. We're running an EVP session. And we're explaining that we have permission to be here. It's okay. Because the feeling I had gotten off the spirit was I was not supposed to be here. So we're running the EVP back, right? And as we say, we can be here, we have permission, the EVP comes back, ugh, I guess. We kind of stop for a second, we think about that one, and I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The counter was not where it currently is. The counter was on this other side, and the door was on the west wall. 
the safe is right behind us, and the safe is still in the building. I'm like, I'm technically behind the counter, so when I come down this hallway, I'm behind the counter. I'm where the workers are. I'm where the bank tellers sit. That's why it's upset, because I'm not a bank teller. It does not know who I am. And the, the response we get back to, it's okay, we can be here. Uh, I guess, is because of the fact that we're behind the bank counter. So, City Hall has always been good to us. And we've gotten a, a lot of good hits. We've got the little girl, like I already said. Uh, doesn't like guys. Loves women. And if you're a mother, it really loves you. It, it'll talk, it'll giggle. It'll kind of play games. Uh, you can set down a, a light. It'll turn it on, turn it off. Um, it'll, it loves to play with the, the K2 and the millimeters. Uh, you got the guy downstairs who gets a little little grumpy, a little grumpy from time to time if you test him. Then you got the the woman in the bank area who you can tell she's kind of been at the job a long time and she's probably just she's probably just a little bit tired of things. It probably doesn't help when we come through there and we're we're talking. Uh, the newer portion of the courthouse we've got access to as well. We've, we've done some, uh, some EVP sessions, some spirit box sessions back there where a lot of the information that was coming out was actually really relevant to what we were in. Um, now the cool thing about city hall letting us do that is of course we are supervised at that point because it is city hall. You have everything, uh, Available. You've got city blueprints, city planning. You've got literally everything the city is going to be in charge of. So big props for them having us in. Because that is really kind of cool that we're able to see a different side of town that, you know, it's an historical portion. And it, it was one of those things, you know, as a paranormal investigator... Until you start digging into a location, you're not going to know the history of the location. So growing up in this town, I've always known that City Hall is City Hall. That's all I knew it to be. The minute I started investigating and you find out, oh my God, you know, these people who are buried in town, I've been to their, some, I've been to their headstones. That's a whole other story. They built this place. They built this other building over here. They built this other building over here. They had shops over there. We've been lucky enough to be in a lot of these different places where the Ross brothers had set up shop. But to be in their final location and to get a response back from who we believe is EA Ross is kind of cool. Now, who the little girl is, hopefully, we'll be able to get back in the city hall eventually. And then we'll actually try to work with the little girl a little bit more extensively so we can figure out who she is and see what story she has to tell. Because that's one thing in DBK that we like to do, you know, our, our entire motto is we help the living, we help the dead, and we like to have fun. Fun is number three. We're trying to help out everybody else first and foremost. So, thanks for coming again. Hope you had a good time. And uh, I'll come at you next time with another wonderful case file from DBK. Thanks.